nuclear prop. Today, I'm learning what it takes to fly a plane with Class One flight instructor Joanna Now. Then we get so much fun. <laughs> She's teaching me how to be a pilot at the Durham Flight Center in Oshawa, Ontario. It's where I'm about to go, off limits. Joanna learned how to fly at the age of 26. She has 3,000 hours in the air, and as a Class 1 flight instructor, she teaches other instructors. When I was four years old, I thought I'd be a pilot. I'll just go fly just like a bus driver, drop off some people, come back. Now that I'm actually applying, there's tons of paperwork to do, but it's as great and as fabulous as I thought it would be. What does it take to be a great pilot, Joanna? You really have to have great hands and feet in a plane. You need your feet and your hands both to be active. Part of learning how to fly happens on the ground. Today, we're going to be learning attitudes and movements. It's the very first flight after the interflight, and this is the basics of flying. We check maps, weather, and head out to the aircraft. Today, we're flying a Cessna 172. It's a very basic aircraft, uh, relatively easy to fly. This particular one is a single engine, means it's got only one engine, and it's got four seats. Would you like to help me check the fuel? Yeah. So I'm going to take this stick and I'll put it in and I'm pulling it out and it looks like 30 to me. Very good. I'm checking oil now, so I actually I'll get you to check it. We need a minimum of six quarts. This is eight, that means seven is here. I have six and a half. That's more than what we need for this flight. Okay. Excellent. We have enough oil. We also check for water in the fuel. Can you see those bubbles? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's water bubbles. Finding water in the fuel could cause the engine to stop and a crash landing. So we need to let the fuel run through the tank until all of the water bubbles are gone. I don't see any more bubbles. Oh, we're good. We're okay. fantastic. Good. We're golden. Good to go. Clear prop. And we're ready for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, CC, I'm going to Delta. Ready? Ready. All right. Do you see that red bun over there or those white buildings right in front of us? I do. That's the beginning of the runway, that's the end of the runway. Wow. Now, do you have control? I have control. That means your feet and your hands. I'm using both my feet and my hands. My feet to control the rudder, which keeps the plane from veering left or right. My hands control something called the elevator for when I want to climb or descend, and the ailerons. They're at the back outer edge of an aircraft wing, and they help me turn the aircraft. Very good job. Whenever you're ready, please show me just normal nose up attitude. Whenever you're ready, so apply back pressure, and then keep pulling. Excellent. Joanna also shows me an advanced skill, how to recover from a spin in case there's pilot error. I have control. You have control. We're going to be doing this. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh. It was so much fun. Should I switch careers? My favorite part of my job, normally we get somebody off the streets just like you, who's never touched a plane, and then I teach them how to fly, and they're able in somewhere between 20 to 30 hours, able to control the aircraft enough for them to go solo by themselves. It's amazing. If we even think that you want to do it, just come. It's very addictive. You won't be able to leave. <laughs> 